Good evening. My presentation is about Dayal Kalipa with a dual graduations. Some manufacturer of a Dayal Kalipa produces the Dayal Kalipa in two graduation. As you see here in this photo, we have two scales. The inside scale, which is in red, it is simply a metric system. And this is the value of the resolution for this scale. It is simply two hundredths millimeter. And regarding the outer scale, which is in black, it is simply referred to the inch system. And the value of the resolution is one thousandth inch. So simply you can read for both systems in one dial caliper. Regarding the main scale, we have two scales. The first one is in metric and the second is in inch graduation. Let's understand how to make the reading for this dual caliper. Let's start with the inch system. So as you see here, the main scale for the inch system is the below here. So as I have said in a previous presentation regarding the reading of the main scale, we consider the edge to be the reference. So the last line before the edge is this line. So in this case, we don't have any complete inch. So we have a partition of an inch. So we have 0 0.8. And we can simply add two zeros because the readings comes in three decimal places. So this is the main scale. Regarding the reading of the dial scale, see that the, the scale in black, which is the outer scale, is the inch graduation. So the line in black is aligning with line number 30. So line number 30 on the inch scale represents 0 0.030 mm, uh, inch. Sorry. So the total reading for the inch system is 0 0.830 inch. Now regarding the reading of the metric system, this is the main scale for the metric system. As you see here, the edge exceed this line. And this line is line number 21. So the reading of the main scale is 21 mm. And the rest of the reading comes from the reading of the dial. See that the dial in red is for the metric system. And the resolution of the metric system is 0 0.02 mm. So the short pointer, which is in red, is aligning with line number five and each smallest division is 0 0.02. So line number five represent 0.10. So the total reading in metric system is 21.10 mm. So this is the reading in metric graduation, it's 21.10 mm. And regarding the reading in inch, it is 0 0.830. You can simply ensure or make sure that your results is completely correct by converting the reading in inch into millimeter. So you can simply convert the inch to millimeter simply by multiplying by 25.4. So you should reach a value which is closer to the reading in metric system. 
let's see this dual del caliper regarding the main scale the scale below here represents the inch graduation so let's start with reading the inch graduation we don't have any full inches regarding the tenth of an inch again we don't have also any tenth of an inch so the final reading is simply the reading of the pointer so regarding the reading of the dial see that the the scale in black represent the inch graduation so the black pointer is aligning with line number 15 so the reading for the inch graduation is 0 0.015 inch and regarding the metric reading this is the metric scale again we don't have any full millimeter so the reading in metric graduation is only the reading of the dial and regarding the reading of the dial scale see that the scale in red represent the metric graduation so the pointer in red which is the shorter pointer lines up with line this line and this line is simply line 38 so the reading is 0 0.38 millimeter So this is the reading in metric graduation. It is simply 0.38 mm. And regarding the reading in inch, it is 0 0.015 inch. Again, you can check for your readings by converting this value into millimeter. So you multiply this value by 25.4. So you should reach a value very close to this value in metric reading let's see this caliper here see that the main scale in inch graduation is the top scale so you should take care of this point sometimes the metric scale comes in the top and sometimes in below so let's start with reading the inch graduation so regarding the reading of the main scale this is the last line on the main scale before the edge of the sliding part so this line is line number three see that this line number this number one refers to this line and this number refers to this line and this number refers to this line uh, sorry this line is line zero and this line is line number one and this is two and this is line number three so the reading of the inch graduation is 0 0.300 and regarding the reading of the dial see that inside the dial the scale in red represent the inch scale so we should read the pointer in red so as you see here the pointer is aligning with line number nine so line number nine represent 0 0.009 so the total reading is 0 0.309 inch
regarding the metric reading let's start with the main scale this is the last line this line is line number seven so it's seven point the scale in black represent the metric system so the longer pointer is pointing let's see that it is closer to some line so we can consider this line or this line because it is somehow it is in the middle so let's say that it is closer to the second line so it's 7.84 mm so this is the reading in metric graduation it is 7.84 and this is the reading of the inch graduation it is 0 0.309 let's read this caliper here see that the main scale below represent the inch system so let's start with the inch system we don't have any reading on the main scale so we don't have any complete inch and we don't have any tenth of an inch so the reading is simply the reading of the dial inside the dial as you see the scale in black represent the inch system so the black pointer the black pointer is closer to line number 72 so line number 72 is read as 0 0.0 72 inches and regarding the reading in millimeter we have in the main scale we have a reading of one millimeter so we have one point and in order to read the dial see that the system inside which is in red represent the metric graduation so the shorter pointer which is in red is closer to this line and this line is line number 84 so the reading is 1.84 mm so this is the reading in metric graduation it is 1.84 and this is the reading for inch graduation let's see this example here let's start with the inch graduation this is the inch graduation which is the main scale so as you see here we don't have any full inches we have this line and this line is simply 0 0.700 and regarding the reading of the dial inside the dial the scale in black represent the inch system so the pointer which is in black which is the longer pointer is aligning with line number 48 so the reading of the pointer is 0 0.048 inch so the total reading for inch graduation is 0 0.748 inch now let's read the metric graduation this is the main scale for the metric graduation so you should take care here as you see the edge of the sliding part is the reference for the reading so this line here 
this line we should read it so this is line 15 this is 16 17 18 19. so in this case we are not sure about the location of the edge reference to the line number 19. so in order to make sure for the location we should check for the pointer so as you see in the dial the system in red represent the metric system and the pointer exceed or it is exactly on zero line so this tells us that the edge is completely on line number 90 so the reading of the main scale is 19 mm and regarding the reading of the dial it is simply 0 0 mm so this is the reading of the metric graduation it is 19.00 mm and regarding the reading of inch graduation it is 0 0.748 inch So that's all about reading the dual dial caliper in both metric system with 0.02 mm resolution and a British or inch system with one thousandth of an inch. Thanks a lot for your watching. Goodbye.